Last night in Yoga Flow Meditate, we worked a lot on breathing and really feeling into where in the body you want to be breathing to and involving more than the chest, so the belly, the ribs area. We were talking about um, how the diaphragm moves, how it moves optimally when we're breathing well and how that relates to our pelvic floor, which as women is really important. Um, and also building that into movement. So quite a lot. Um, and for people who are not used to connecting to their breath, connecting into the body with the breath and making movements in unison with the breath, this felt complicated. As women, we often hold a lot of tension in the pelvic area, in the pelvic floor, or we're disconnected from it, or we do not breathe in sort of the most optimal way for our diaphragm and our pelvic floor and our body and our posture. Um, it's a huge, huge subject, but we, it, we had some interesting discussions around it as well as practicing. And as part, apart from sort of optimal um, pelvic breathing, general physical and mental health with um, mindful breathing, in Quantum Flow, which is a part of Yoga Flow and Meditate, um, there's very specific breathing and pelvic floor core muscle exercises that are really integral, important part of the process. And it's important that we practice these and get these right. Um, so there's some very in interesting um, chat that we had last night. And one person came up with a really great question. And the question was, why do the majority of us not breathe in an instinctive and optimal way for how our body's designed to breathe? Why? I mean, yes, our bodies keep us alive by breathing. Everything's working well and our, our unconscious mind, our brain helps us, our heart to beat and our, our body to breathe. But I'm talking about in terms of, you know, um, breathing so that the diaphragm is really working how it should and all the internal organs and the systems are working how they should in you know for optimal health and for our, our mental and emotional health as well and this is it's such a a big answer i may do another post another time um go into more detail but the simple answer is it's our lifestyle it's our culture it's society how we live our lives on a mental and a physical level so on a physical level, we, um, as I'm doing myself now, you can see my desk chair that I'm sitting on, we sit in a lot of chairs. We sit at desks, we sit on sofas, we sit at dining chairs, you know, the, the travelling, whether it's train or um, plane or car, <laughs> however we're travelling, there's a lot of sitting on seats. And really, our bodies aren't designed to sit on seats um, or, or not for a very long time, like most of us do. Um, so it affects our posture. You know, more traditional people will be squatting to sit down or um, kneeling, you know, doing more uh, natural movements that, that actually children and, and young children, babies, toddlers, do so, so easily before they start sitting in lots of chairs, especially if they go to school. Um, you know, sitting in, on yeah, desks for any length of time starts to seize up the hips. Um, so that affects our, our posture. It affects sort of, you know, from a what we can see level, that kind of slumping. We tend to we tend to sort of hunch our shoulders and we're leaning forward, looking at phones, typing on, on keyboards, carrying children, whatever we're, we're doing. We tend to sort of slump a bit, don't we, and hunch. Um, that means the lungs are closed off um, and also from the, the lower body point of view um, we don't use our core muscles how they're designed to support us which obviously leads on to um, you know other issues um, in terms of you know supporting our lower body um, but that affects our breathing. The breathing affects that. So if we're not breathing well, we breathe in quite a shallow way. When we're not mindful, we're getting on with our life. We're often a little bit stressed. Some of us very stressed. Um, many people living in kind of um, chronic low level stress a lot of the time. And this means that we breathe quite shallow. 
it might bring on digestive issues, IBS, um, indigestion, other kind of complications with digestion. It means the diaphragm's not moving and then that relates to the pelvic floor because there's the diaphragm within the pelvic floor as well. So um, yeah, as you can tell, 